Welcome to Pause on Purpose. Thank you for joining us. Yesterday, we talked about um, how to find joy and forgiveness. And we started with God, which is the greatest place to start, of how God forgives us and why that's such a good motivator. Because we realize God doesn't deal with us according to our sins. And as far as the East is from the West, God removes our sins. Why? Because he deals with us based upon his mercy. Today, we're going to look at the New Testament version of Psalm 103, 10 through 12. It's found in Ephesians 4, 32. And if you have your Bible, I encourage you to open up there. I'm going to read it in just a minute. But this is a context of Paul working with a church that has had great diversity, different backgrounds, different um, socioeconomic, political, uh, religious, cultural, uh, any difference that you can imagine, this church had it. Book of Ephesians is about the city of Ephesus. It was an epicenter. It was, it was a uh, New York City, if you will, of its day. And it had all the diversity that you can imagine. Language, culture, religion, as I mentioned. So Paul is uh, writing this book to this church of building unity. And he says this verse in verse 32 of chapter 4. Be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. See, the great motivator of forgiveness is how much God has forgiven us in Christ. Here's the motivator, bottom line, the principle over the last two days. I've saved it for today, but here it is. A true, genuine forgiver, a person with joy, never keeps a record of wrongs. You show me a person who keeps a record of wrongs, guarantee it. There's very little joy in their heart, in their, in their lifestyle. A person who works hard at not keeping records with other people, they have incredible joy. It's been true in my life, and I've tried to model after those people who have mentored me in forgiveness, um, but it's not easy. I, I struggle with it just like the next person does. And God has shown me to take an inventory of how much God has forgiven me and Christ to be compassionate. And he has taken me through seasons of great pain. And that great pain can do one or two things. It can make us better people or it can make us bitter. And the result is based upon how we view God's forgiveness of us. See, bottom line is, not only do joyful people keep short accounts or no accounts, but they understand this other principle, that forgiving another person is not so much between me and that person on the, on the horizontal level. It is more has to do with my relationship on the vertical, meaning my relationship with God. How I view forgiveness between God and me will be directly displayed how I forgive others. The more I understand God's forgiveness of me, the greater I'll be able and empowered by Christ to forgive others. And beloved, that is something I'm growing into and we're growing in together because we want to be joyful people. And what better way to do that than working together to forgive others, keeping short accounts and not keeping a record of faults. And then we'll be going with God and joy will be ours.